Welcome to Vexillology. I apologise for the absence, but in today's episode we are finally moving on with the series and taking a look at the flag of Algeria. Flying with a ratio of 2 to 3, the national flag of Algeria consists of a vertical bicolour of green and white with a red crescent encircling a five-pointed star in the centre. The green is the colour of Islam. The white represents the peace that was achieved after independence and the red is a symbol of freedom and the bloodshed in the struggle for independence from France. The crescent and the star are iconic Islamic symbols and are present in nearly all Islamic nation flags. The Algerian flag dates back to the era of the Berber dynasties, an ethnic group native to north and west Africa. The Zionid dynasty ruled over the kingdom of Telemchen, whose territory stretched mostly across what is now modern-day Algeria. The Telemchen kingdom was established after the demise of Almohad Caliphate, a Berber Muslim empire in 1236. The flag of the kingdom of Telemchen was a field of blue, with a white crescent in the centre. The flag flew until 1338 when it changed to this flag, a field of white, but this time with a north-facing blue crescent. However, 150 years later in 1488 they reverted back to the original flag, and this continued to fly until 1556. By 1556 the Ottoman Empire had well and truly taken over the country and its dynasties and the Kingdom of Telemchen had become the vassal state known as the Regency of Algiers. Whilst under this moniker, this flag was flown. Five horizontal stripes of red and yellow, the colours of the Ottoman Empire. While under Ottoman rule, Algeria unified and remained united until 1830, when, due to a major dispute between Algeria's Ottoman ruler Hussein Dey and French Council Pierre Duval, the French invaded the city of Algiers, upstaged the Ottomans and subsequently ruled Algeria for the next 132 years, during which Algeria would be made to fly the French tricolore of red, white and blue. The early years of French rule weren't plain sailing, however. Between the years of 1832 and 1848, Abdul Qadir al-Jazari, with the allegiance of the people of Algeria, founded the Emirate of Mascara to try and resist the French conquest of Algeria. During this time, he designed this flag, with green silk bars above and below a centre banner of white. In the centre, a charge of a hand surrounded by golden Arabic words. His regime didn't succeed, however. During the latter part of the Algerian War of Independence, the government in exile, known as the Provisional Government of the Algerian Republic, adopted this flag to represent those who opposed French rule. Very similar to the current day flag, but the white band covered 75% of the flag. This version was used until 1962 when Algeria finally became an independent state and adopted its current flag. The Algerian flag hasn't had many iterations, but I'm sure you will agree the history of the Algerian flag has been interesting. To make sure you don't miss the next episode, please click subscribe. And if you're looking forward to what this series has to offer or have learned something new from this video, please hit that like button. But more importantly, thanks for watching.